Hi folks, going to review a few things today. We're talking about full arch and placing our implants, putting the multi-unit abutments on and finding the correct angle. We have these, uh, these new angulation pins that fit into the implant so that we can figure out the proper orientation of our multi-unit abutments and they slip right into the implant once it's placed into the hex to make sure that we're in the correct position. Prior to doing that, Best thing to do, especially for freehand, placing our implants, or even guided, but when we're placing these guys on, a, on an angle, best thing to do is line that dot up. There's six of these that are for the flat of the hex inside the implant, so we can see the flat on the hex that goes down as the driver engages the implant. When, we're got, when we got these guys angled distally like this to skate the foramen and get anterior to that, but get us a little bit further for an AP spread. If we line one of those dots up along the mesial of the ridge, that helps to put our 17 or 30 degree angled abutment onto the implant and get everything as close to parallel as possible when we're placing our temp cylinders. So if I had the 17 degree peg and place that in, that looks pretty good, except it still angles our abutment a little bit distal, right? And maybe I can check that one more time with a 30 degree angled. And now I like that. I saw that thing before I'm flying out. <laughs> I lock it down into the hex and I see that I'm darn near parallelism with these others for an easier path to draw on my prosthesis. So. Last thing is our bone profiler. I want to be know that if we sink that implant, I can see on the distal aspect here that it's down in the bone. And if need be, when we go to place our 30 degree angled abutment, maybe it's hung up on bone a little bit and it doesn't seat all the way. So best thing to do is literally go in. In this case, I don't have a hand piece, but I want to show this bone profiler and the pin. I want to take this guy out of the package. Bottom right, open this thing up, out it comes. And we have this little pin, it's a guide pin. And what it's gonna do is fit right over that cannulated portion or the hole on this profiler, very sharp. Put this on your hand piece at about three or 400 RPMs. Water or not, doesn't matter. It's just taking a little bit of bone. And what we wanna do in this case, since I don't have a hand piece, is I'm going to use my screwdriver. This is for the GM system. So this is the star driver called a Neo driver. But I'm going to place this guy down in. Turn this guy in until it gets tight on the top of my implant. All right. And then once that's down, instead of a handpiece, I'm using the latch type adapter today, which in a pinch you could even do in the mouth or on the patient, but this guy slips right over top. It just rotates back and forth and takes the littlest bit of bone away. I can see some on the side of the, the profiler here, and now it's on my hand, the saw bone material. But it takes just the slightest bit of that um, bone away on the distal aspect so that we can, then I'm gonna remove that pin. And now when I go back, I should be able to place my abutment without any interference, right? And when I get this guy to go down and I'm engaging the hex inside my implant, great success. Now I've got one, two, three, put this other guy in here, four, and they're all darn near close to parallel. It's an easier path of draw when I seat my, my temporary or my final prosthesis. Thanks, folks.